In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn some data into a chart. You could turn it, any type of data into a pie chart, line graph, really simply in Google Sheets. So I've done the hard part by first finding the data, and I found this data from the U.S. Census, Colonial Times to 1970. And this is a chart that depicts median money income of families and unrelated individuals in current and constant $1967 by race and head of household. And this data set is going to tell me a lot about median income specifically among two racial groups, white and African American and other. By examining this data, I can tell if there's trends or how large the gap is between white income and African American and other races. Just by examining this data, I can see that yes, there is a gap across the board. However, we have a ton of different numbers here. Uh, and so in order to have a visually appealing visual representation of this graph, of this data, it's really important to make a chart or a graph. And this is going to be something that you can use anytime you're presenting data in a presentation, PowerPoint, or Google Slides. So I'm going to show you how to turn this data into a graph. First thing you're going to want to hit is insert chart and then determine bar, column, line, or pie. If you're not sure yet, don't worry, you can always change this later. Right off the bat, you're going to get a generic chart that Google has made for you. The first thing you're going to want to do is open this down arrow and click open source. This will take you to a Google Sheets of that generic chart. And what you're going to want to do is delete all of that data that's in that generic chart and then replace it with the data that you have. Once it's loaded, you can always click on this chart and then move it into a place so you can insert the data. So first, just hit delete. Now, if you're lucky, you're going to be able to copy and paste data right into this Google Sheets. However, I cannot copy and paste this data into this sheet. See, it's going to look all weird. So I am going to take column A, and this is going to represent the year. I'm going to take column B. This is going to represent white median income. And then I take column C, and this is going to be African, American, and other races. And I'm going to insert all of the data. I'm going to do that easily right now. Perfect. And done. From there, you can always move your chart and cover up the data if you need more space because you're going to spend a lot of time in this three-dot window. You can click this three-dot window and hit Edit Chart. When you hit Edit Chart, you can get a variety of options if you want to change your chart. If you want to have it be a line showing a shaded area, you might want to change it to Area Chart. If you want it to have a bar chart, line, line, bar and line, combo chart, 100% stacked area chart. So there's a variety of things that you can do with this chart. So we have our title here. If you don't have the title, then you can always just click on that title. I think the generic one is point scored. And let's make sure that we have the title looking the way we want it to. We can center it, we can change the font, we can change the color. I like black because it stands out more. We can just see how I'm just clicking on different areas and then it gets highlighted. So if I click on the key, I can change the text color to black. I can make it a little bit larger. And then again, I can change the font. If I wanted to change this column right here, this is all income. So I'm going to click on this right here, and I want my reader to know that it's income. So I'm going to change number format, and then I'm going to change it to currency. And then from there, I can always change the text color to black. Again, I can change the font, and I can make it larger. If I want there to be additional hash marks, I can always click on the hash marks right here. I can always change the count. I want to change it back to auto. Uh, and I can also 
change the minor count so that I have additional hash marks and that might be easier for people to trace if they're looking at specific numbered amounts. I can also change the grid line if I want. I'm going to hit undo because I like the way it looks on default. If this is if the colors are too close, for example, the colors on this chart are light blue and dark blue, what I can do is click on that color amount, or I can click back to edit, and then click back on that color amount, and I can change that color to an orange color. And that way there's a greater contrast between um, the data that is being presented. So if I like this chart, perfect. Go back into your generic, go back into your generic points scored table, and then you're going to want to pay attention to this one right here, update, and then boom, you have your chart right there, and it's a little bit more visually pleasing than looking at all of this data in this chart right here. So from this data, I can print out this chart, I can include this on a, um, on a research paper that I'm writing, I can include this on a PowerPoint or a Google Slides. I can always download this into a PDF, or I can download this into an image as well if I wanted to use it for other purposes. And then, as always, make sure that when you have any type of source that you are citing, you attach an MLA or appropriate citation with that source. I hope this helped and taught you how to make a chart in Google Sheets.